Are you tired of the mires of capitalism? The toiling drudgery required to earn capital for your imperialist masters? Or needing to shill your Patreon to try and make this weird dream of making videos a sustainable reality? Well, me too. I want to try something different. Something red. Today, I'm going to be going down the uniquely stupid communist path in France. There's unique focuses, unique events, and a bunch of unique spy missions that I really want to explore. So let's see what that entails. I also have a secret trick to make playing France way easier as well. I'd love it if you subscribed, as I've got a world conquest coming at 20k subs, and a recommendation for who to play in the comments would be pretty appreciated as well. It's gonna be hell. Right, au français, here is the plan. We're gonna be going left, and we're gonna be rushing force the issue to get rid of disjointed government. And I really want to be going down the right path and destroy the counter-revolution to get an early casus belli against Britain. First though, we need to deal with the horrendous political violence spirit. French people basically just want to burn their country to the ground the moment you do anything. Sorry guys, it's true. This spirit basically stops you from going down the communist path because otherwise you have to lose a bunch of political power every time you do something. But you can get rid of it really easily. The spirit only affects you if you have below 70% stability, and the moment you touch 70 stability, it goes away until you go below 50 stability again. So to start with, before we do anything else, we're not going to pick a focus. We're just going to let the political power stack up. We'll do all of our normal things. I am going to get a few civvies, though. You'd think I go mills at the start, considering I'm planning on a pretty early conflict, but I want at least some civilian industry. While we wait for the PP, let's take a look at these focuses. The whole reason I'm doing this is because I want to see what these unique espionage missions are. I want to instigate a workers' revolution in Britain. Come on, France, liberate me. Oh yeah, also this is non-historical, and Germany has civil war. I kind of just wanted to see what would happen to the world. If Germany goes imperialist, they actually send me their communists, so my communist growth gets even better as well. All right, we have saved up some PP. We're going to improve worker conditions. This is going to give us weekly stability. Yes, it kills our factory output, but I'm France. I make basically nothing anyway. Now that I've picked that, I can go form the popular front and go down a few focuses while I wait for my stability to tick up naturally. We also need to make a very early agency, and look! Oh, the election event! We got communists in government. This just gives us free communist support. Very nice. Oh no! Okay, we've done form popular front and reform the labor laws. Our stability is now above 70%, so we should be able to get rid of political violence. Uh, why is it not going? Uh, okay, there it is. It just had to wait a day to tick over. There it is. We have gotten rid of it. It will stay away unless we go below 50 stability. Now we can just rush down the communist path and force the issue really early. Oh boy, the world's going full monarchist. Otto's assumed the Hungarian crown. Interestingly, UK is going steady as she goes. They're staying democratic. What? All of Europe is going to break away from them, while Britain is just going to be the only member of the Allies. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Even more free communist support. Thanks, Soviets. One thing to keep in mind is that we do actually care who wins the Spanish Civil War, because if the communists win, we won't be able to attack them because our focus only gives us the CB if they're not communist. But with Germany falling apart, they won't send volunteers to nationalist Spain, so... Uh-oh. The communist focuses are actually genuinely not that bad. Like, flat support and extra political power gain to help offset the losses from disjointed government? Let's go, it's pretty good. I think I need to send an attaché to the Spanish because I need to see what's going on. Like, I might need to send volunteers on the nationalist side. Okay, we've forced the issue. We are now the French Commune. Look at that flag. We do now have two paths, but obviously we're going to go the cool one. Aw, oh, damn. Germany's actually going democratic. This means they're going to be all weird and join Britain or whatever. Come on. Oh, made a little whoopsie. I wasted 35 days doing the intervention in Spain focus, but I forgot that the only reason I couldn't send volunteers was because I was democratic. Now that I'm communist, I can just do whatever I like. Also, while I could just go down the focuses to get the cases belly on Britain right now, I'm going to delay a little bit to try to reduce the inefficient economy spirit. I would like to be able to use my factories even slightly first before I fight. All right, I've got some tanks and mountaineers to help out the nationalists. I just need them to survive so that I can invade them later. I oh, oh yeah. Carlists, I forgot about the Carlists. Okay, <laughs> why did I forget them? Oh, it's okay, look at that. 
tank boys encircling all of Carlists and still reinforcing the line. This is great. Spain has a problem though. The moment I go destroy the counter-revolution, I will get a very small fascist civil war. I'll win it instantly, but it doesn't matter. This will pull my volunteers back. We gotta just see if we can rush Madrid. Come on, boys. I'm gonna save you, Spain. Ah, nope. Didn't manage it. Ah, I think Spain's a goner. All right, here is an incredibly small civil war. No big deal, except this allows me to go to war economy, which is really good. Look at that, defeated in days. But also, because we did it so quick, we did not end up with political violence spirit coming back, despite us being below 50 stab for like a day. As long as you're fast, you should be fine. Oh cool, Greece has gone communist as well, and they want me to invest in them. This probably won't have any weird consequences, it's just a little bonus for a fellow commie country, right? <laughs> Right, it's time to get ready for the big one with Britain. Let's slam some artillery into our infantry divisions and ah, we have a problem. Because I'm at war economy without being at war, my people want me to demobilize. And the timer is going to run out just before I get the ability to attack Britain. Oh god, I'm screwed. Ah, wait, no I'm not. Completing the focus loyalty to the cause gives me a new leader with base war support and non-core manpower. If I can get to 50% war support, I won't have to demobilize. Ah, oh, I forgot about Japan-China war. Nice. Yes, that gives me the necessary war support through world tension. There it is, 50 war support. Now we can attack Britain whenever we want because we won't be striking. I know, a rare occurrence in French history. Okay, I'm going to be attacking Britain now, but look at this focus. Revolutionary zeal. 25% division defense on core territory, but also a flat 10% attack everywhere. That's insane. All right, let's go. It's very early Britain. They should not be very strong. Let's take the South Coast. Oh, wow. The USSR has sent 13 divisions as volunteers. Oh my God. Thank you, Papa Stalin. Oh, okay, there we go. We have a port. I just chucked the entirety of my navy into naval invasion support, and it's worked. Now I just gotta rush VPs. I did do a collab government with the spies that I was building up, so they should collapse a little bit easier. Oh yeah, we've won. Also, just to tease you, I'm not gonna puppet anything. I'm gonna be full annexing everything I take. You'll see why. Oh, look at that. With London taken... They capitulate. That is so satisfying and so easy. And we get to take the entire Commonwealth. We take all the land, yes, but we also take the entirety of the British Navy. We did also get political violence returns. It came one day before the peace deal. So if I had just been a little faster, but it's fine. It's worth it. We've got tons of compliance in Britain thanks to our collab government. And we're going to set everybody to the Communist Liberated Workers Occupation Law because it's going to give us a lot more factories. And we're not done, by the way. We are going to be justifying onto America. The fire of revolution must come to the new world. We can now just get ready. We got rid of political violence because we have enough stability. And also, here's why I annexed everything. Our leader gives us bonus non-core manpower, and we can get some more from our focuses. So, by annexing the British Raj and setting the occupation law to the one that gives us the most manpower, we are going to get so many people for our army. I have had to set maximum priority for garrison for all equipment produced because we are running out massively. French people are basically trying to garrison the entire world. But with all of our new factories, we need to start making some planes. So here is the Patreon fighter. And because we have so much rubber, we can do self-stealing fuel tanks on everything. Sadly, the world of communism has been dealt a great blow. The USSR is having a civil war. It's also time to revoke the Matignon agreements. This does give us our very first and hopefully only protest to send into violence event, but it's fine. I need the factory output to make loads of sacre bleus. This lovely medium tank with a close support gun. Also, future Aldra here, I forgot to actually look at the secret espionage mission you get from the focus tree because the UK fell so quickly. But look at it, it just gives a lowered compliance for the UK in Scotland, Ireland and Wales. I thought it would give them a civil war or something, it's basically useless. Worryingly, Italy has formed a big Balkan confederation with Yugoslavia and everyone else, and they are beating down Greece. I kind of want to keep Greece alive though, but the focuses to attack Italy are kind of far down. So we'll focus on America first with some collab governments, and then we'll come back to see if we can save Greece. All right, we've got troops on the American border ready to attack. There's also a random British ship in the English Channel just chilling there, even though they've been full annexed. It's fine, they can stay there. 
Maybe he's working on the channel. Oh, okay, yeah, no, America, <laughs> America in 1939 is not the America that we think of in World War II. This is tragic. I am just demolishing them. My infantry on their own are defeating them, but my tanks melt through them like a hot knife through butter. Yeah, I'm just snaking all the VPs. They cannot handle me. We have completely run out of manpower, though, which is a big problem because our compliance is pretty low. But it, it's fine. Once we've finished everything, we'll be okay. Especially if we move down the Blonvillette proposal and get rid of our horrendous manpower problems that France starts with. Right, I've got the focuses to attack Italy, and this means I get the unique espionage mission as well. It only takes one agent, but it costs 5k infantry equipment, and it has a 33% chance of causing a communist civil war, and a 66% chance of just giving some communists their government, so... Okay, worth a try. However, far more important, we have the best possible encirclement shape. Oh god. And there goes America. Oh my god, so many Garands. Every one of my soldiers are about to get Garand thumb, let's go. Now we have all of North America under our thumb. We have an insane amount of resources, an obscene amount of factories. We can now build up all of our military industry in France, and also send some volunteers to Greece while we prepare to fight Italy. Also, our lack of manpower is such a problem, I am going to have to go to extensive conscription. This gives me worker shortages, reducing factory output, but I'll get rid of it once I go down the focuses a bit. Oh god, Greece, why? I gave you support and now you've come back with bribes? What? Look at these malices. Minus 30% factory output and consumer goods unless I give them 10% consumer goods? What the hell? Fine, just take it. Also, oh boy, end game boss Austria-Hungary has joined this Central European alliance. This means the Benelux will join them as well. I'm gonna have to fight all of Europe soon. The instigate workers revolution has ended and no civil war sadly, we got the bad option, just increased communist support. Lame. Oh, oh my god, go away Greece, please leave me alone. I've also unlocked the other secret espionage mission against Germany and it's the exact same as Italy's, a chance of civil war or a chance of communism. Let's, let's give it a go, maybe we can collapse them without having to fight them. But first of all, let's kick down the door of the Italian Alps. The mountains are kind of strong, but I've got loads of planes and they have none, so I'm doing 26 cast damage to them. Th they should fall apart. Ah, I did forget about Africa. I haven't left any troops in Africa. <laughs> I guess Italy just gets to conquer all of it. Whoopsie. Uh, oh dear. Portugal is now attacking Spain. What? Spain is also the communist puppet of Soviet Union because we didn't save the nationalists. So Portugal is now going to be fighting the USSR. Portugal also just joined the Italian faction. Italy is now going to be fighting Russia. Oh boy. I think we need to win this. Uh, I can't get through the mountains. Let's just naval invade. Take Rome. I've got all of the Commonwealth's navy plus my own. It, yeah, no one can resist me. Thank you very much for that tasty Rome. I did feel like a pizza. Right, now we can just spread out and take our time annihilating Italy and getting ready for future... Oh my god. That is a genuine surprise. Germany has actually attacked me. I did- I did not expect the AI to be so smart. That is a very good idea. Oh god! Luckily, I do have troops on the Maginot, just in case. Always do that. But Belgium is completely empty, so the moment they join, I'ma die! We're gonna have to just pull almost everything off of the Italian front to go and build a fallback line onto Belgium. Like, this is- this is full panic mode. Okay, I built a little defensive line. It's actually the same defensive line you do if you were playing regular democratic France. You know, hiding behind the rivers and stuff and retreating from the very north bit. I did not expect that I would be defending historical France borders in this game. And against a combined German-Austro-Hungarian Benelux force, no less. I've set up a couple tanks as a blocker. They will lose eventually, but this will slow everybody down long enough for my troops to build some entrenchment and get their org back. I'm also building some forts very quickly using the might of the American construction industry. And now also we will just stuff planes into northern France. Just literally every plane in the world. All right, they started hitting us, but I think we're going to hold just fine. I seriously cannot get over how we played such an incredible game. We've conquered Britain, America, India. Mm. Oh, Portugal's taken India. <laughs> it's, it's fine. We'll get them back later. But yeah, an incredible, powerful game. And we're still defending regular democratic France borders. Damn you, Germany.
It isn't so bad though, because remember we do have revolutionary zeal, which is 25% defense on core territory. We have polished off Italy though, and they were the only major, so they've completely collapsed. And we've taken all of Italy and Yugoslavia. So now we gotta rush to get units onto the Austro-Hungarian border before they pile in. Also, look at this Africa now. Oh, baby. Man, this is really micro-intense. I've gotta try to save all of the railway connections while the Austro-Hungarians pour south. I'm just desperately trying to feed troops into it. But I think I have to give up the majority of the Slavic areas. Sorry, guys. What? The Quit India movement? Th there is no India. I directly own all of it. What are you saying, game? Oh my god, I need to destroy Greece. Stop giving me strikes. I'm fighting for my damn life over here. The Austro-Hungarians have sort of split my forces, and I do have a bit of a chunk trapped in Yugoslavia, but I'll have to retreat them and make a holding pattern in the southwest of their territory. And unfortunately, the instigate workers' revolution in Germany failed. It just gave them a bunch of communism. Lame. The line against the Germans is completely stable now. I think we can pull some units off and assign them to the Austro-Hungarians and try to widen that front. Let's go. There's just no supply here. I'm desperately trying to build supply hubs and railway connections, but uh, I'm just so overtaxed. Also, what the hell? Spain has invaded the Netherlands behind them. Wow. Spain is actually doing work. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Russia is in the war. Russia and Spain are actively fighting the same people I am fighting. I barely even noticed when it happened. Here's an idea, though. Germany and Austria-Hungary and, weirdly, Sweden are pretty powerful. If they beat the USSR, I could then take all of Russian territories when I then beat Germany and Austria-Hungary. So maybe I should just wait and let the Soviets collapse, right? Let's let's just chill for a while. We'll make a new medium tank design. Sit here and vibe a little. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Japan has now attacked me. They're going historical Japan, and so they've attacked me for like the Philippines and for Vietnam and stuff. So, oh god. Everyone in the world is at war with each other. Ooh, the Soviets want a mutual assistance pact. Couldn't you have done this a day earlier, dude? Because then you would have been able to join me against the Japanese. Oh, wait, what? They will actually just join me in the war. Oh, <laughs> now the Soviets are fighting against Japan. Yes, they should collapse. Let's go. Japan is also attacking the Dutch East Indies, which means they are at war with the Soviets, with me, and with Germany, Austria-Hungary. Japan is truly fighting every country in the world. Also, China wants to join my faction. How about no? I'm just holding a little bit. I pushed slightly in Belgium just to push off my territory, but I'm trying not to spook them or make them bring too many forces here. Come on, guys. Just do it. Just push into the Soviets. Let's go. Hey, I am sinking the Belgium and Swedish navies, though, so that's pretty cool. Okay, this is taking ages. Let's send an attaché to the Soviets. I want to see what's going on over here. Oh, what? No one has any troops here. The Austro-Hungarians have basically nothing on the borders. They got all of their soldiers on my front line. And the Soviets are so weak. Like, what is this? Look at this encirclement. Come on. Look, there's even a Soviet penal battalion there. Look at that. It's the weakest division in the game. And Japan's doing almost nothing as well. All right, that's it. I'm tired of waiting for you Soviets. I'm doing it myself. Oh my god, there are actually gaps on the line in Austria. Okay, let's just destroy them. Yeah, they've got nothing. I could have done this at any time I wanted. I am just barreling through their countryside. I've taken everything. They're done. Look at this. They were sitting on so much equipment, but they had no soldiers. They must have had, like, no manpower or something. Also, I have completely saved the Soviets' day. All of the occupied territory belonged to Austria-Hungary. Germany didn't take any of it. It's all gone back to the Soviets. Look at all the encirclements. All right, time to just utterly grind through Germany, plan a naval invasion into Sweden. G Germany cannot handle anything. Poland is also in the war for some reason, so I do have to capitulate them as well, but I got plenty of tanks. They've even got heavies in them as well. We're gonna be fine. There we go. After an hour of grinding up the Swedish woodlands, it's over. Look at that peace deal. The Soviets took two states. I took 108. All of Europe is mine, except for bloody Switzerland. Damn you. How the hell am I going to make a thumbnail out of this? Right. Turns out the communist path for France is kind of crazy. I think it's a bit of a foregone conclusion here. I'm going to say we've won. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, you should definitely subscribe for a lot more videos like this every week, Sunday, 5 p.m. British time. And a like on the video is greatly appreciated. Remember that once we get to 20k subs, I'm doing a world conquest. So definitely join for that. I was Outro Hill, and I will continue to be. And we did it. We destroyed capitalism. Bye-bye.
Thank you.